In the event of failures like ECDIS, electronic chart display and information system, GPS, or gyro compass, the following actions and procedures should be taken. ECDIS failure. Switch to backup systems. If available, switch to an alternative navigation system or use paper charts. Communicate the situation. Inform the bridge team and, if necessary, the company and other vessels nearby. Monitor position. Use other means, example radar, visual landmarks, to verify your position. Adjust course. Navigate carefully and adjust course as necessary to avoid hazards. Log the incident. Record the failure in the ship's logbook, including the time and actions taken. GPS failure. Use dead reckoning. Calculate your position based on your last known position, course, and speed. Check backup systems. Use any available backup navigation systems. Look for landmarks. If in coastal waters, identify visible landmarks to confirm position. Monitor other sensors. Utilize other equipment, example. Radar, echo sounder, for navigation. Communicate. Notify the bridge team and other relevant parties about the GPS failure. Euro failure. Switch to magnetic compass. Use the magnetic compass for heading and navigation. Stabilize the vessel. Ensure the vessel maintains a steady course while relying on the magnetic compass. Cross-check with other instruments. Use radar or other navigational aids to confirm heading. Inform the bridge team. Communicate the failure and any changes in navigation procedures. Log the incident. Document the Euro failure and actions taken in the logbook. General precautions. Regular training. Ensure the crew is trained for handling equipment failures. Safety procedures. Follow the vessel's safety management system and emergency procedures. Continuous monitoring. Always keep a close watch and be ready to take corrective actions. By following these procedures, you can ensure the safety of the vessel and crew in the event of navigational equipment failures.